Alright, what a science Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today, this reading is going to take a look at the one who broke your heart. So, the one who hurt you, the one who broke your heart, what have they been up to? Do they feel any guilt or remorse? We'll, we'll see what's coming up around their energy and if the two of you might reconnect here. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and get started here. So the one who broke your heart here. What do we need to know about them? Apparently, a few things. Bottom of the deck, you've got the fool. With this person's energy, I feel like they've gone from recently, okay, maybe not so recently, but I feel like they have been on this journey or they have undergone this journey of growth, of, you know, working on themselves and of personal development. I feel like when the two of you were together here, when you were in a relationship, they may have acted really foolish, very foolhardy here. They may felt like a fool here for having, you know, treated you the way that they've treated you here. They may have also been a lot more immature than yourself. Like I'm, I'm picking up, maybe they weren't as wise. Um, you know, maybe they didn't have that emotional maturity or that emotional intellig intelligence that you possess or that you would have appreciated had they possessed this but I do feel like they've gone through this journey they've gone through this journey when you you know where they the the time that the two of you were together or when you guys have met it feels like they were in this young kind of foolish energy this energy of immaturity emotional um emotionally juvenile or emotionally infantile and since then i feel like they've stepped into a new journey here where they really have worked on themselves and they've gone through some emotional experiences that have pushed them outside of their comfort zone and they've had you know made them realize a lot of things here but notice the yellow com uh, yellow color symbolism here i feel like right now your person or this energy here is is doing fine and i feel like They've been through some things which have really been eye-opening and which have really made them realize certain things about themselves maybe that they wouldn't have otherwise. I do feel like there's, they were very insecure here, okay? Or, you know, maybe they still have some insecurities with the Four of Pentacles energy. And I feel like throughout your relationship, throughout your connection, if you look back at it now, you know some of these insecurities here they were projecting onto you and they were projecting onto the connection so they had certain emotional issues here uh, maybe they felt inadequate for you and maybe they felt like they weren't worthy here and you know that you were out of their league here they may also have had emotional um, issues here that i feel like they were taking out on you here because ultimately they they didn't realize, they didn't know how to deal with those issues or those emotions or um, maybe they even denied having any as well. Because you do have the Emperor and you know, he's a bit of a, well, he's a bit of an egomaniac, isn't he? Um, he's a bit, he's not very mushy, he's not someone who's very in touch with his emotions here. He's more, you know, the, the masculine energy here. And I feel like your person, in many ways, I feel like your person had defense mechanisms. To maybe keep you out um, or defense mechanisms to sort of deny that they had any emotional insecurities or um, issues all along here um, so 
for instance, when certain emotions would arise within them, they would attribute to those um, like those emotions having been caused by external factors, such as maybe you know putting the blame on you or something you did or something you said or something someone else di did. It w they never were able to take their personal power. They were never able to step into their personal power and take that personal accountability or responsibility here. Um, I feel like they've never took ownership of their emotions, but I do feel like they have gone, I feel like you have taught them a lot, you've contributed to a lot of their journey of growth here and transitioning and development here. It's, a, it's such a shame because maybe had you met them later on in life, um, timing would have been more appropriate. You know, they would have had that emotional um, intelligence and emotional maturity that you wanted here. And maybe a part of you, I feel like, for some of you guys watching, um, you are water signs and you like to believe in the best in people, right? And a part of you may be in one way, somehow, rather, you kind of tricked yourself into believing that, you know, these undesirable qualities that your person had um, maybe didn't ultimately really belong to them. I feel like you kind of excused some of their behavior here. So... Okay, um, I feel like the Six of Swords energy, now I feel like some of you here, you have, to me it feels like, you know, you have ended things with one another. Um, I also feel like something about a disconnection or a separation. So if this is like someone from your past, okay, someone whom you haven't spoken with recently, um, and you feel like that this is it, You've, the two of you have parted ways. I don't necessarily feel like, okay, it doesn't feel like you could be coming back to another, to one another, because even if you did, or even if you were to cross paths, this is a brand new energy. I feel like this person has really invested in themselves, and I feel like they've gone, they've kind of judged themselves and the situation harshly, um, and I feel like there's been some sort of awakening around their energy, so they would step in as a brand new energy. They're not this, you know, little foolhardy energy that you uh, knew them to be or this insecure, you know, low confidence. I feel like they've really worked on themselves here. And if they were someone who was selfish or self-centered here, I do feel like they've become a little bit more altruistic here. Um, and what was I going to say? Yeah, and if this is someone whom you have... If this is someone who has hurt you recently, okay, then I feel like with the Six of Swords energy, to me, the card here is indicating that maybe it's a good idea that you do take a break from one another because I feel like your person here must, you know, you know how I spoke about this uh, undergoing this journey of growth and transition. Well, your person is yet to undergo this journey and this is a journey that he or she unfortunately must embark on their own. And as much as you want to help and, you know, be their cheerleader here or be their, be an emotional support, this is something that they have to do on their own. You cannot, and I know you do, I know you're itching to help here, but you cannot walk this journey for them. This is something that they must do in solitude in the, on their own here. So I feel like ultimately to me from what I'm getting, the person that hurt you or the one that broke your heart ultimately was hurting him or herself. They were in pain and they were kind of projecting that pain onto you. There may have been some emotional or childhood traumas in their energy. I'm seeing a lot of insecurities, anxieties or pain in their energy here. But I also feel like they have... They have done some work on themselves or they may still be doing some work on themselves. And even if the two of you were to come back together here, there is a possibility for some of you. There is. But I feel like you're coming back together in a brand new energy because they're not the same person that you knew them to be. Nor are you. you weren't this, you're not the same person that you were yesterday here. So you're coming back in this brand new energy and they, they're a lot more confident here. They've worked on themselves. They're more sure of themselves. They... They're more sure of their capabilities, you know, what they're made of and how much love and um, they can, you know, they can offer here and what they can offer and bring to the table. So, yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, a lot of this was to do with timing. The two of you just happened to get, you know, to get together at a time where this person was 
look beneath that you've got the two of pentacles here where this person was childlike immature had childlike predispositions was you know emotionally infantile or juvenile someone who was you know frivolous kind of energy with the two of pentacles someone who was playing games here someone who you know wasn't vibrationally aligned didn't necessarily want the same things as you but i feel like since then with the world's energy here this person has has maybe even completed a cycle here in their life they've gone through some growth here they've stepped into this energy where they feel so much more in harmony with who they are and they just feel like so much more themselves than just who they thought they should be here all right guys so these are your messages thanks as always for watching and listening appreciate your support by liking sharing subscribing thanks guys again bye for now